What's going on you guys? Um, in today's video, um, we're gonna hit up the Goodwill in Enfield, Connecticut. And we're also gonna hit one of Connecticut's best auction houses, uh, the Golden Gavel. Um, that's where I source a lot of my inventory from. Um, today they have a bunch of Pyrex that I'm hoping to win. Um, I buy and sell a lot of Pyrex, toys, video games, all that sort of stuff. Um, so we'll head into Goodwill. Um, I'm not sure if I can film in there. It's usually, the music's usually pretty loud. Um, so I'll see what I can do. If not, I will show you a video of our haul at the end. Um, so let's head on inside and see what we can find. Alright guys, as promised, here is our Goodwill Hall. Um, I couldn't film inside, the music in there was very loud, but start here. We got this Corningware Visions um, 5 liter Dutch oven. We paid 8 for that. I should be able to get anywhere between 20 and 30 bucks plus shipping for that. And then we have Ready Player One 4K uh, Blu-ray. Paid 5 for that. That should go for 20, 25 bucks. It's brand new sealed. Then we have the Dick Cabot Show. Um, and that we paid three bucks for. That should go anywhere between 15 and 20. And then this was a great uh, haul right here. A bunch of PS3 and PS4 controllers. I was actually in need of the PS4 controllers. I have a system that's been listed for a while, but I don't have like, any controllers for it. So once I get these tested, I'll be able to pair one of these or both of them with it and should finally be able to sell that. I paid eight bucks a piece for the PlayStation 4 controllers and then five a piece for the PS3 ones, so I'll get those tested. I also picked up this uh, opened Fallout Monopoly, paid five for that. That goes for like 15 to 20 bucks and it is complete. This I thought I took a chance on. This was Sonic the Hedgehog uh, board game. That goes for five, or I paid five bucks and that goes anywhere between 10 and 20. So that should be a nice double up on that. Um, this I took a chance on as a Polaroid Sun 600 SE camera. Um, th there was a comp on eBay for $60, so we'll see how that goes. And then last thing I picked up was this Boston Red Sox uh, World Series 2004 tapestry. Um, and that we paid, it was half off, it was originally $12, uh, but the blue tags were 50% off, so we only paid six. So there should, there's lots of money to be made here on this haul. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know what you think. I think it was a good haul. All right, guys, as I was saying earlier, we're gonna be attending the auction tonight here in Connecticut at the Golden Gavel. They have some pretty nice pieces of Pyrex this week that I'm hoping to get my hands on. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not sure how much I can film inside tonight. I'm kind of nervous about doing that, but um, I'll try to get some footage of the items that I'm planning on bidding on, and I will try to get some footage of the actual bidding. Um, so let's head inside and see what happens. All right, well, this was an unexpected buy. So there's a pawn shop next door to the auction, and I just bought all these comics at the pawn shop. Uh, I got five boxes for $225. Uh, it's a little mix of everything, Marvel, DC, Image, Valiant. I uh, can't wait to go through these with you guys and see what's in there. All right, so just a couple things here. I wanted to look at these cars. Um, I didn't end up bidding on them. Um, they opened the bidding at $40. I just thought they were neat. Um, something little that maybe I wanted to buy, but I didn't end up buying. Um, so as you can see here, I'm just kind of flipping through to see what's what. Uh, it's a cool Dale Earnhardt one, Jeff Green, uh, Wall Trip, uh, Jeremy Mayfield. So it was a good selection, just nothing for me. And here we are, we're gonna look at some hats. That Miller Lite one was dope. Um, that was what made me wanna flip through this box and see what else was in there. Um, Baltimore Orioles hat, there's some Dallas Cowboys stuff that we're gonna be looking at. The Dodgers, Michigan, a um, couple of different odds and ends. This Mark Martin Viagra hat was cool. Stay tuned till the end of the video and you'll see what we picked up that was Viagra related. Uh, Jimmy Sports Bar. So nothing like too great in here. I didn't end up bidding on these. And here we have a very rare Pyrex piece um, that I will end up bidding on later in the night. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit more later on. Um, and here's some other stuff that we're looking at. This is some more Pyrex. Um, just kind of going through everything that is available to preview. 
Um, just looking at these bulls here, I'm not a big fan of the brown patterns. A couple other sets of Pyrex here. Um, jumping over, um, just kind of showing you guys what's here, taking a look at everything. Um, some more Pyrex I'm going to pick up and look at here. This is the Golden Bouquet pattern. I do end up bidding on that later. Uh, then there's two of the exact same bowl in that lot. So each lot um, is in a different box, um, and you can choose whatever you want to bid on. Some other cool things were just kind of previewing CDs, knives, kitchen stuff, some more Pyrex coming up here. I don't end up bidding on that. That ended up opening for $60, which was way more than I wanted to spend on that um, particular set. Um, and then just some other decorative stuff here. Um, I thought this was cool. I forgot to actually bid on it, the John Deere Monopoly. As you can see, it's just kind of a mishmash of everything, CDs, cassettes, um, just kind of seeing what's what else is in this box lot. I actually forgot that was even there um, at the end of the night. Um, more knives, kitchenware, um, here's the Barbie stuff. Um, that ended up selling. I ended up getting that for $15 later on in the night. Um, just kind of uh, you know, miscellaneous odds and ends. Lots of dishware, lots of kitchenware this week. Um, more Pyrex stuff. I actually ended up going down to the auction, um, particularly for the Pyrex. Um, and then here's some other cool stuff. Some like motivational DVDs. I thought this dishware was neat. I ended up picking up one of them to look at it. It's kind of impressions. Um, it was the, or Temptations was the name of it. Um, I didn't end up bidding on those. That was more than I wanted to deal with. Um, here's some other cool um, odds and ends. Lots of cow collectibles. I actually picked up a um, cow collectible, or cow collection um, a few weeks back from this um, same auction house. Um, just more odds and ends that I'm showing you guys here. Lots of glassware and other, you know, tchotchkes, tchotchkes and collectibles. I stop here and take a look at these. I thought they might have been Yadros. That's why I'm looking at the bottom, but I don't think they were. Um, one of them was like Case Collection, which is like Dollar Tree brand right there. So I didn't end up doing anything else with those either. Um, coming up here, you'll see just some more odds and ends. Um, in the next portion of the video coming up, um, it's going to be the bidding portion of the video. So you'll see, kind of get an idea of what I'm bidding on, um, I, what I win. Um, there's one lot that I don't win. Um, so yeah, that's what that is. A couple more things we're looking at. Uh, this really cool record collection that was available. Um, kind of a mix of all sorts of artists. Um, ACDC, Priest, Ozzy Osbourne. So I do attempt to bid on this later in the night, um, and I did include that footage in the video. I unfortunately didn't end up winning them. They went for more than I was willing to spend. Um, they ended up selling for $200, which I'm sure there's money to be made, but I didn't want to spend that. I knew where I wanted my money to go. Um, you know, Loverboy, Go-Go's, Molly Hatchet, lots of good solid rock kisses right there. Um, the sleeve wasn't that great, but the record condition was actually very clean. Saxon, UFO, Blackfoot. Um, and then here is uh, one of the things I spent a lot of money on um, were these jackets. Um, as you can see, they're uh, authentic NASCAR racing jackets, JH Design, Chase Authentic. Um, and I thought these were very, very neat. So real quick, this is the bidding for the jackets. My strategy here was to get the leather Viagra one first and then try to get the other ones at a cheaper price. However, my plan backfired and I ended up getting them all for $50 each. Still not a bad deal overall, but um, that's what I wanted to let you guys know what was happening here. So uh, let's uh, go back to the video and keep watching. One up to your account, whatever you like. And I can open them for 15 a piece, pick a jacket, 20 a piece, 25, 30 a piece, 35, 30 a 30 35, 30 picks, 35, 35, 40 picks, 45, 45, 50 picks, 55, 50s in the back, then 55, 50s in the back, 55. So $50 goes to 45. How many would you like? Uh, I'll take the one he's holding for the. the price of 50. The, the one that he's holding? Yes. The one that David's holding? Yes. Just the one? Just the one. Goes to buyer 45 and that, that ends the left bid. So that goes to buyer 45. 
All right? You good to do them again? We have Fila. What, what's left? Four left? High bid choice again. So the one with the left bid is gone. So whatever's on the rack is still available. 20 bucks. 20 choice. 20, 25, 30 choice. 35, 40 choice. 45. They're a little older. They're worth more now. 45, 40, 45, 45, 50. 50, you in? 50, 55. I was just joking, 50 bid, 55, 50 bid, 55, 50 bid, 55, sold 50. How many would you like to have there? 45. I'll take the rest. Times the count, that's the way to do it. Times four, hippie. Uh, and then here's the bidding for the albums. Um, I wanted to include this to show you guys that I don't always win everything that I do bid on. Um, these went up to $200 and that's where I backed out. Hey, 316, all the rock and roll LPs on all... On all, you have ACDC and others, all the good music you want to listen to. And I can open the lot up for 80 and 90, 80 and 90 and 100 and 110, 110, 120, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 210, 220, 210, 220, 210, 220, sold for 210. And I can open. And this here is the bidding for the rack of CDs, which I don't think I filmed in the preview, but you will see what I am talking about later on in the video. Open it for, I can open it for 15, 20, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 40 my bidder, 45, 40 to bid, 45, 40 bid, 45, 50, 55, 55, 60, 65, some good music, 65, 60's in the back, 65, 60 to bid, 65, so 60 goes to buyer 45 or 5 and the other one it's i67 is it i67 you have the bottles and the pyrex there i have 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 50 my bidder 55 50 bid 55 50 bid 55 55 60 65 65 70 75 75 70 bid 75 Sold $70, good luck with it, 45 takes, four or five. What's up guys? So it's a couple days after the auction and I just wanted to kind of film a little follow-up video for the items we won, what we spent and kind of what the value is for the items that we won. Um, I tried to film a little bit inside the auction. So I'm so sorry if the quality of the videos for that is not 100%. Um, I wasn't, it was my first time filming in there, so I'm not sure how the audio and stuff came out. Um, so again, my apologies on that. But without further ado, let me kind of show you what we uh, won and what I think we can get for each item um, that we won. So here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the CD rack. We won the, the rack itself and all the CDs on the rack. Um, we paid $60 for that. Um, everything that you see here was included. Um, a couple empty shelves towards the bottom, but there's also another side, the rack spins. So as you can see, it's chock full of CDs. Now CDs aren't huge money, but look how many CDs we won plus the rack for $60. I mean, the rack alone, you go on Amazon and probably pay 80 to 100 for a new, new spinning CD rack. The rack is invaluable to me. Now, the best things on here, in my opinion, from just looking up, is this ACDC Backtracks um, DVD CD combo. That's about 20, 25 bucks. So that's almost half of what we spent back. And then this Stevie Wonder um, CD box set comps around 15 to 20. The War Anthology is anywhere between 20 and 25. Um, the Saxon Denim and Leather CD. Uh, it's 2009 remaster that comps you know about 20 bucks or so and then this is uh diving for pearls and that's about you know 10 bucks or so and then here's kind of a table overview of everything and i'll kind of run through everything that's here um i want all these jackets here there's five jackets i paid 50 dollars a piece for them um i don't know if i said as well but our total spent was 580 dollars for the whole night um and we'll probably end up doubling our money just on the jackets alone and there's a couple pieces of pyrex that we wanted that were really good so i kind of show off what's here this here is a chase authentics 
It's a youth jacket, extra large, Miller Lite. Kind of hilarious that a <laughs> child would be rocking the Miller Lite, but it's a very small, extra large, so there's no way that it's not a child's jacket. Second NASCAR 50th anniversary. Again, Chase. Um, that's a large, it's a good size for reselling. Nice emblem on the back. That, you know, I said, like I said, I paid 50 bucks for all the jackets each. This one doesn't comp that high, it's like 30, 40. So I'll take a hit on it, it's fine, because when in the grand scheme of things, I'll end up making money on everything else. Um, it's it's more about the, the bulk buy than anything else. Next is this Ford Racing jacket, logo athletic again, size large. Another beautiful jacket. I know we're not in jacket season right now, as summer is just starting, or just about to start, but the time to buy it is when you see it, and this stuff was priced right, or I, you know, I got it for the, a good price. Next is this one here. This is a Mark Martin JH Design, size large, Viagra jacket. You know, it's got front and back um, embroidering, Roush Racing, Pfizer, and then the big boy, big jacket, is this one here. There's a comp on eBay right now for the same exact jacket in a size medium. This is a size large. Size medium recently sold. They were asking $499. I went on Terra Peak on eBay and it looks like the best offer was $300. So I spent $250 on just these jackets and I can probably get $300 for just this one. So there you go. That tells you all you need to know about, you know, the buy. And, you know, it's got Mark Martin's embroidered signature. Nice leather, Viagra, front and back designs. So there you go. It's probably like a three to five hundred dollar jacket right here. Crazy. And then next up, we got a couple of Barbie items. We paid fifteen dollars for that lot. I don't think I filmed that video during the auction, but just a couple small things. Um, fifteen bucks worth. No problem making a few dollars there. This Pyrex set, I believe I paid $30 for. I can probably double my money, sell it between $60 and $70 plus shipping. And then I got two of this exact same dish here. This is a Pyrex golden bouquet pattern. And these comp anywhere between 50 and 60 bucks a piece. Those were in a lot that I paid $50 exactly for. So I'll sell one to make my money back and make profit on the other. They're in decent shape. And then the big, big purchase here i paid 70 dollars for this dish this is a rare promotional piece from 1960 or 61 this is the pyrex gourmet pattern um, with a warmer i don't think it's the original cradle warmer but still cool um, and like i said i paid 70 for that there's one comp on ebay right now for this pattern it's very rare there's only one listed with two other promotional dishes for like 1700 but there's a sold on just this one without a lid or the warmer for 175. So I think I can get anywhere between two and 250 for that. So I'm very happy with, you know, what we picked up. It wasn't a lot, but it's not the worst $600 I've ever spent. Like I said, the total spent was 580. So round up say 600, we'll make 300 on just the one jacket. And then about another two, 250 on just this piece here. So everything else will be pure profit in the end. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, let me know what you think about what we, we bought uh, uh, on Thursday. You know, we had our Goodwill pickup. Um, we spent about $85 at the Goodwill. We got all those controllers, um, board games, and uh, a few other things. And then, you know, we spent $580 at the auction, um, which I think was for what we got, it was incredible. And then, of course, we went next door to the pawn shop and we spent $225 on the comics, which we will go through in a future video. I haven't even touched those. Those are just sitting down here in my basement waiting to be uh, gone through. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time.